Hi there, Scanner Flyers. It's John here. So you just flew your drone, and you're ready to create a new project. Now, before creating that new project, we always recommend reviewing the drone images before uploading. Images with reflection, glare, white balance and contrast issues, and blur from flying too fast can lead to poor model quality or errors. To review your images, we recommend viewing them as a time lapse to look for anything inconsistent with the object being mapped and look for image quality issues. Now to do this, open an image, then hold or keep pressing the left or right arrow on the keyboard to create a time lapse of your flight. Do you see anything that shouldn't belong? Is the drone on the ground? Do you see any glare or blurriness? Is the sky in the camera's frame? Are some images darker or lighter than others? Here's one that's darker. Let's remove this one from the batch we're uploading. Now, let's look at a few other examples of what could be in your batch of images and what not to upload. For this example, the drone was flying way too fast and taking a picture at the same time. The result is a very blurry image, which is not great for creating a 3D model. For the next example, a close-up of the shingles. Now, this is great for assessment purposes, but not great for creating a 3D model. Next, there's a brightness and contrast issue here. Sometimes the camera's auto settings can adjust on the fly. Now, if this happens, just remove the darker or lighter images from the batch, whichever is less. So for example, if you have 150 images and 10 images are very dark, just remove those 10 dark images and vice versa for those lighter images. If you have auto settings enabled, keep an eye on those images as they're being taken. You can also adjust the brightness or contrast manually as lighting changes. Next, please do not include pictures when the drone was on the ground. These are common when using automated flight apps. Next, avoid sun glare on the lens. This can happen when you're flying very early or late in the day when the sun is closer to the horizon. A quick fix here is to point the camera down a bit more and change your altitude a bit. Next, avoid flying in very high winds. Notice the drone roll angle here. Also notice the sky is included in the image. Please do not include the sky in your images. Here's another example with the sky included, but also notice the propeller is included too. Please avoid uploading an image with the propeller as well. Try to avoid reflection when possible. It's best to 3D map highly reflective metal and white roofs on overcast days. But if you need to map on a sunny day, try using an ND filter or just remove those images with reflection. So if you have 150 images and 10 images have reflection, just remove those 10. Next is the really cool top-down view of the property. This is really great for assessment purposes, but not great for creating a 3D model. And for the last example, the auto white balance setting was on during flight, and the app adjusted the white balance setting automatically on the fly. To avoid this, turn the auto white balance setting off and adjust accordingly. Now, always remember, high quality images produce high quality 3D models. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We're always happy to help.